Hey everybody, this is Vril. Welcome back to Victory at Sea. So we're at the Norwegian port of Bergen, and we're just saving up our war bonds, saving up XP, and we're looking to unlock the Konigsberg class light cruiser, if I can find it here. Here it is. So it has a few turrets, it's has no anti-submarine depth charges or anything like that, but it does come with two observation aircraft, so that should be useful for us. It is a little bit smaller since it's a light cruiser than like the Gloucester class that the British would have, so a little bit smaller than that, but it should be an improvement over the destroyers that we have and should complement them well. We'll need to still run our destroyers because they have the depth charges and the Konigsberg class does not have any depth charges, so let's just head out to sea, do some missions, do some convoy rating and hopefully gain some XP. Okay, we've got a mission, I guess. So our enemies are attacking Bergen, Captain, at sea. We can't afford to lose this outpost. Get over there and defend it. So get over there. We're already here. Um, so I think we just need to go to port. But I think I want to wait till it's daytime. Then we'll be able to know what we're exactly encountering here, just in case this mission might be <laughs> more difficult than we... You know, we've only got, what, three destroyers, and it could be a battleship or something like that, or cruisers. Don't want to get into a battle with anything like that, so let's see here. We will have two ships along with us, it looks like, and we should have coastal the coastal batteries as well helping us out. So we'll defend the port. Looks like just three destroyers on the British side, so we should be okay. All right, so let me position our ships. I'm going to... I'm gonna go ahead and do an offensive kind of stance. Looks like we actually have a Konigsberg light cruiser helping us out as well from the AI. Let me put these pretty tight together, I would say. And we've got another 1936 class destroyer that will help us out. We got some shore batteries down here too. So let's go into battle. I'm going to be controlling the 1936 class German destroyer and I will have the AI control the Emmanuel and the Kayaki, our Destroyer escort, so let me say manual control on this guy, so that should work out. So we will have some landing craft that we need to prevent from coming in here, and let me just move the camera on over here and see what we're dealing with. Should be three destroyers plus the landing craft. So we've got N-class destroyer, Tribal class destroyer, tribal class destroyer. That should be about it. I think that there will be more landing craft after a while, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. Let me speed up the time a little bit here. Should just go back to our main ship here. So as soon as we come into contact, we'll start firing, which shouldn't be too long. Let me bump up the speed just to, what is it? I just changed our direction, didn't want that. Let's go up to 6x, and we'll drop it down to, well, let's go down to 2.5x. Looks like we're about to engage here. I think they might be engaging. He's doing a smoke screen, it looks like. Let's smoke screen on the landing craft. So we kind of need to focus on the landing craft, but at the same time also focus on the destroyers as well. Probably take out the landing craft first and use some torpedoes on the destroyers is what I'm thinking. And that landing craft is already crippled and destroyed. Okay, we've got some torpedoes coming in. I think those are from that destroyer there. Let's see. We are in range for torpedoes if we need them. Let's... There 
Alright, let's use some torpedoes. Looks like he's... Not sure exactly what he's doing, so I'm just gonna shoot kinda where he's at. Looks like Navigatory is also firing some torpedoes. We're gonna hit a direct hit on this guy here. Oh, no, we... We hit him, but I don't know if... Okay, he's crippled. He's done. Surprisingly, our ships have not taken any damage whatsoever. Watch out for these torpedoes, though. Coming right after us. I'm just trying to parallel with the torpedoes. Oh, we hit. Luckily, that was a dud. We're probably not going to be very accurate on that guy because of the smoke screen. Is anything getting through? It does not look like anything's getting through. Okay, I think that was a message I clicked uh, too quickly. I didn't see what that said. It might have said something about the landing has failed, but... I don't think anything's gotten through. Fortunately, we got smoke screen right in front of these guys, but I think he just came out of it. I think I'm the only one that got damaged. I took that torpedo right in the rear. Okay, I destroyed that ship. He was about to ram uh, Navigatory there, so we were victorious. Should be really good. Sir, I have a message from the Admiralty, Captain at Sea. It is with great honor that I promote you to the rank of Commodore. All right. So we should be... It says level 2 still, but... I thought that was level 3. Okay, so we did unlock the Konigsberg class. Didn't pay attention to how many war bonds we got back there either, though. So I received 1 million. Let me enter the port and see what we've got here. And if we have 9 million... Yes, we do. We'll go ahead and buy the Konigsberg Light Cruiser. See how long until we got the Nagara class. Just checking out Sendai class, light cruiser, light carrier. Kind of like to focus on the German. So we have a Deutschland class pocket battleship. So again, this is probably a little bit smaller than a normal battleship. A lot of the German ships are kind of in that category where they're slightly smaller than their British counterparts. So, Konigsberg class light cruiser. And we'll just use these default names. I will go ahead and make sure that I am the captain of this particular ship. So I think that's in the fleet here. So I'll reassign... Okay, this guy is my character. Alright, he's on there now. Okay, so we don't have any missions currently. Just looking at our... we are the Commodore now. We did have the Destroy War Badge. Doesn't really tell us anything about how we unlock any of this, though. Okay. Let's... Let me just go ahead and save real quick now that we unlock that, and we'll head out to C. Not quit to the desktop. <laughs> I was trying to look for the exit button on this, but uh, leave the port. Alright, so our supply level at this particular Bergen is low, but keep an eye on things. And just do some patrols. Now, let's see, what do we got here? This is... That looks like a cruiser, not a light cruiser. I'm not going to engage it unless it... We'll see. 
I need to know before I engage. Okay, he just completely exploded and disappeared. I don't know what that was about. I think we've got some snowflakes since it's December in the North Sea here. Let me zoom out here. Okay, there's something going down down here. I didn't realize I was actually kind of zoomed in. So we've got submersible and the destroyer. We'll, we'll help this out. It should be pretty easy pickings here. And he just finished off, I think the, I don't know what it was, but it was German ship. So I think we'll be okay. It is a submarine though. All right. Yeah, we're gonna be completely fine. So the... Let me make sure that light cruiser is set for manual control and everything else is AI controlled. Should have some really good range on this, on the turrets on this ship now, over the range of the destroyers. So he's almost in the... in range already. What about these? I haven't used these observation aircraft yet. Not sure if we need to actually tell them to go someplace or what. Okay, well he is range to start shooting, shooting at this tribal class destroyer. And actually we've got, we've got some stern guns as well, it's like a 270 degree angle, but in the reverse, whereas the bow guns are 270 degrees in the front. Plenty of torpedoes as well. And we've spotted our submersible. I'll probably have to take control of one of our destroyers to take them out. I have a feeling that the AI is not going to be able to go after the after the submersible as, as well as I would. So let me watch out for this torpedo that's coming in and I'll thread the needle around here. They took out that ship pretty big there. Let me take control of our Z-27 and head on over to the... Let me... Light Cruiser will go to AI control. Yeah, I mean that Konigsberg, it's certainly larger than a destroyer, but you can definitely tell it's not, it's not a cruiser size, it's certainly a light cruiser. Watch out for that torpedo over there, guy. Just missed him. I'll be curious to see if now if we have some observation aircraft, although I don't see them around anywhere, that they'll help spotting the submersibles. Okay, come on. Fire some depth charges over there, and then we'll be on cooldown. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's holding back on a torpedo for us, a couple of them. Yeah, there he is. I knew that was coming. Been there, done that before. One of our other destroyers coming over to help. Can't tell, he's a little bit damaged. I don't know if we damaged him or he was already like that. The 
destroyer escorts also coming in. There he goes. Yeah, he's actually got four depth charges. I should have taken control of that guy. The submarine's lo okay. We hit him that time, and he's firing another torpedo at us. Try to evade that one. Conexpert class. Okay, he's avoiding. Ooh, he's dud because they. I don't think they were armed yet. I'm just going to go down to zero. I've been in this situation that this submarine's in when I was playing Silent Hunter 3. I think I was trying to... I was in the Atlantic and I was trying to get into the Mediterranean through Gibraltar and there were destroyers all over me dropping depth charges in the water. Okay, he's probably going to have to surface now. And there's the, he was still using his depth charges on that guy. Can't use my torpedoes on it. I think we're too close. And we finished him off. All right. Okay. So... I get a little bit confused. I guess this is... We've got this level 3 rank over here, and then we've also got a... Like, actual rank, it seems like? It's slightly confusing. So we gained 2 million war bonds. Didn't catch what the next... Well, it's gonna be a little while, probably, before we buy another ship anyway. Let's see, what was our... fleet information here? Are we damaged? Can we even tell how we're damaged in this screen? Hmm. I wasn't seeing what we really, what our status of our ships are at. Probably just head back to Bergen, maybe head this way a little bit and see if there's anything that we can find. I'm sure that I'm zoomed out so I can actually see everywhere as well, though. There is, let's see, what is this? Three ships, it's a destroyer, a cruiser, and a submersible. It's level four, so I might... A little bit worried about the cruiser. Again, we've got that light cruiser. That cruiser can probably start fire, firing on us way before we'd be able to fire on him. So I think I'm going to avoid that. Unless he decides, what do we got over here? Unless we can join up with some other... Yeah, I think we're going to... Just head back to Bergen. Let's do that. We yeah, definitely don't want to be going into... A battle with a cruiser if... We are damaged slightly. I do think we took... Let's see, what do we got going on here? Got two destroyers. Need to see. Two destroyers. What do we got here? Just more destroyers. I can't tell. There's another stack of German ships. Just all destroyers. Let's uh, help these guys out, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking to help them out. Yep. Got another ship coming in over here, though. What were they? Cannot tell. Some maps in the way. Let's head for these guys while it's still daylight out. Okay, so we are attacking Weymouth Cruiser with our light cruiser and our three destroyers. Destroy the enemy ships as they try to pass the blockade. Okay. 
Alright guys, well it does look like we're out of time for this episode. We'll have to start this battle in the next one. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.